Valley. Have you noticed the weather doesn't cool down right away when the fall season starts? It's a phenomenon sometimes referred to as the Indian summer if you live in North America or old woman summer if you live in Europe. And in China, people call it autumn tiger. It can get really hot during the day but quite chilly at night, so this is a time when people can catch a cold easily. In ancient China, there's a history of people wearing vests to keep warm during this time of the year. It was believed that the vest was first developed around 2,000 years ago and later doubled as a fashion statement as the time went on. Now let's take a look at the history of this hanfu. Short sleeves or sleeveless garments have been around for a long time. The earliest artifacts found in China was from the Warring States period. During the Han Dynasty, the terms were coined in one of the earliest dictionaries, the Shiming, or explanation of names. Sleeveless vests were called liang dang, half sleeves were called ban xiu or xiu qu. We can find many examples from the Han Dynasty until the Northern and Southern Dynasties. By the Sui and Tang Dynasties, half sleeves became more popular, and they were called ban bi during this period of time. I will explain xiu qu and ban bi in more detail in the future. During the Song Dynasty, they were called Beizi or Chuozi. At the same time, they were given another name called Da Hu or Da Hu. It's a Mongolian word which means fur coat or jacket. Da Hu became popular during Yuan and Ming Dynasties. We'll also talk more about that in another video. According to the history of Yuan, Empress Cha Bi, wife of Kublai Khan, invented a vest for riding and hunting. It is shorter on the front and longer on the back. Its name, Bi Jia, is the most frequently used term today for Hanfu vest. However, there was no archaeological findings of this particular item, only in other styles. After the Hongwu Emperor founded the Ming Dynasty, he ordered to revive all clothing and accessories back to the Tang Dynasty standards. So they went back to the Tang Dynasty term Ban Bi again, but also called it Bei Da or Bei Xin. The short version extends below the waist with square or round collars and buttons in the middle. You can find examples of kids wearing it in this famous painting. It can also be knee length or even longer. The male version is called Zhao Jia. Women can wear it as both casual and formal attire. By the Qing Dynasty, it reached its peak in popularity. It became part of the formal outfit for empress and concubines, called Chao Gua. The casual version also expanded into a variety of styles. They were commonly known as Kan Jia or Ma Jia. These terms are still in use today. I will be showing two different vest styles today. The first one is from the Ming Dynasty, paired with a standing collar shirt on the inside. I have introduced the shirt and the history of the standing collar in my previous video. Check it out if you want to learn more. This is a one-piece pleated skirt with plum blossom embroidery. The hole on the waist makes it more convenient to wear. Insert a belt through the hole and tie it up in the front. This vest has a round collar. There are pearl buttons on the body and a silver button on the collar. The middle seam on the back represents a person's righteousness.
This vest and shirt came as a set, so the embroideries are matching nicely. Other than standing collar shirts, you can also wear cross collar shirts with vests. There's a middle seam on both the front and back. This vest has straight parallel collars with a pair of pink ties. And you can always find the middle seam on the back of any Hanfu garments. According to Qing Dynasty scholar Li Yu, vests can make women look slimmer, which is desirable during the Qing Dynasty. The vest is also a versatile piece of garment for days that have dramatic temperature changes. If you find this video helpful, please like and share. Let me know what you would like to learn in the comments below. I'll be making more videos on traditional Chinese culture, beauty, and fashion. See you next time.